What's up guys welcome to my channel welcome to another video today we will be doing our predictions of the top 20 UV to trainees the last episode will air in 4 days so I wanna before that episode comes out do this video on what I think will be the, the top 20 how they are gonna end in rankings quick disclaimer this is not my opinion on their talent or anything this is just how I predict voting to be okay the system i'm gonna do to as you can see here i have them in order from how they are now shinu number one jenny number 20 and we are gonna from 20 we are gonna start at number 20 and where i think she should be right now you can see i'm here prepared from one to nine and then we are gonna put them in order from 10 to 20 so here will be number 10 and at the end number 20 so let's start with Jenny because as you can see I, I I prepared for this like I was doing in Excel whole no not whole day but for hours in Excel I was putting them one over another and also this is just prediction because I wanna when the actual episode will be to mark how many I did correct I'm not saying that this is how it is gonna be or should be with it out of the way hopefully there will be as little triggered comments and hate and I don't know what is possible and rather make sure to put down your own I, I will put this tier list in the, co in the comments in the description if you wanna you can make it and link me your results on Twitter or just type down in comments on YouTube what do you what is your top 20 how you think it's gonna end starting with Jenny so I have Jenny she ended at number 20 but I think that in this in this final ranking she's gonna end at number 18 okay so we have Jenny at 18 next one is Flora Dai she ended at number 19 and I think she's gonna this time same as Jenny move two positions up going to number can I can I Oh, now we have and this is one girl whose name I cannot remember for some reason it's Song Shinran I don't know what it is about her but in the whole show she has not done anything that would interest me that's just me saying it has nothing to do with how I rate them okay yeah I'm just with each I will I may say what I think about them but the position doesn't matter because of how I feel it's because of how I think voting is gonna be hopefully I'm not gonna repeat myself anymore hopefully it's clear but even then I think that she's gonna because one thing you need to keep in count before this every U52 producer could vote for more trainees I think it's second elimination it was everybody could vote for seven in the and in the previous one in the third elimination everybody could vote only for two and in this one, everybody will be able to vote only for one. That's why I think Son Shinran will be number 20. So far we got 17, 18 and 20. And number 19 is gonna fill up 3. I, I don't... I don't... What I think... The only reasoning I have for 3 and Son Shinran being in the top 20 is that they are from SNH. And the SNH fans were always voting for Kiki or Diamond and one of them to keep them in game but since now they are gonna, gonna be able to vote only for one I think them two are not gonna get away from place 19 and 20 let's continue number not number we got Roada and she ended at number 16 but I think she's she skyrocketed from number 29 to 16 from second to third elimination I think now she's gonna not make it into top 9 but I think she's gonna end at number 12 I'm gonna put her here so we got 12 17 18 19 20 next one on our list is Raham I think she should this is here you got a proof this is not what I think I think she should definitely be in the top 9 but we have to look at the, how she how the voting has been. I don't think she's gonna make it. I think Raham 
it is. I think she's gonna be number 16. Here. So next one is Kaylu. And Kaylu, she and the one I have. Okay, let's just put her first. She was number 14. I think she's gonna be number 10 now. Because I think every, not every, but many Marco fans are gonna go vote for Kaylu. What was I gonna say is that for a long time, like past 30 minutes, I was skeptical about Kalu and one at number 9. I think it is easily can Kalu be number 9, to be honest, in my opinion. We will get to it. Next, Sharon. Sharon was at number 13 and I think she's gonna stay at number 13. In between here. We got 10, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Continuing, we got Diamond. Right? Yes. Number 12, Diamond. She was she was 12 in the third elimination and this time I think she's gonna still she's been every elimination she got a better score. First elimination, 24th place. Second elim elimination, 20th place. Third elimination, 12th place. And I think now she's gonna rank at place 11. For a moment I had her at number 10, but I think Kalu will get the more votes. Next one is Lingzi. And Lingzi, I think the fact that it's gonna be only one vote per UPTU producer is gonna hurt her. I have I don't really feel like there is as many supporters for her. In my YouTube UPTU reaction comments, I, I have thousands of comments and I don't remember actually a single one being well, like someone like liking Lingzi because I've seen many comments like Shin Liu, Hearts, Hearts, Anchi, Heart, Kiki, I love you and such stuff. I have not seen a single for Lingzi. I don't think she's as popular and in a number one priority post for as many people. So I have her at number 15. So right under. She's one spot before Fraham. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 13, 12, 11, 10. Now, oh, we are gonna wait a bit for the number 14 missing here. Yo, no triggering, please. This is just a prediction, okay? <laughs> Next one, 9 1. I, I think this is gonna happen. Th she's the one with Kayla I was talking. I think 9 1 is gonna be the first of our trainees in the top 9. I was going for like 30 minutes up and down with Kalu and 91. Like I think there is a huge chance for one of them being the number 9. If neither of them is in top 9 then you can come back to this video and I don't know. I was gonna say like call me a retard or something but why would you do that? This is just to be for fun. So I think 9 is gonna be number 9 because same with like Diamond, every perf every elimination sh her placement was getting better and better and last placement she was number 10 and what helped her in my opinion is that she had a lot of fans coming into, into the show, coming into the program which is helping her really. And that's why I think this is gonna help her because she got a lot of dedicated fans that in the when you have to choose one person they are gonna choose her. Now moving on, who is left? Shaking. Quite a shocking. <laughs> Lol, that was not meant to be a pun. First elimination, seven. Seventh place. Second elimination, fourth place. And third elimination, ninth place. Ninth place, pretty close, but I think she's gonna be at number eight let's go with anchi she also i was getting kind of worried because first elimination fourth then on the second el elimination she dropped two places to number six on the third elimination she dropped another two places to number eight so with the math she would end up in number four e on the fourth elimination at place 10 but i don't think that's gonna be because i think I think Anchi is gonna take position number 7 and 
I would be really surprised if, surprised if Anji is not in top 8. Continuing with Arya Jin, the dark horse of the show in my opinion. Like, I don't know what was happening, but out of nowhere, she got into top 9, out of nowhere, she's number 7. What? First elimination, she was number 21. Second elimination, she was number 9. She jumped 12 places. Another one who jumped 12 places was Yanyu, who jumped from 15 to 3, like... But then Arya Jin on another elimination also jumped another 2 places to number 7. And I think now she's gonna jump to number 5. Let me just move this. So I think Arya Jin is gonna be number 5. Like, it seems she's she's got many loyal fans. Like, I don't get it. I, I think I'm sleeping on her or something because... Her popularity is massive. We got Xiotang, my personal favorite. And I think Xiotang, she was in sixth place on the last elimination, the third elimination. I think she's gonna stay there, to be honest. I think she got enough loyal fans to keep her there. And I see, I don't see her going up, but neither down. Maybe she will switch. I, maybe she will switch with Arya Jin or. Anji, I, I don't think her going anywhere from 5th to 7th place. Now we got last 5, top 5, and you may be asking, yo, we still have not seen number 14, w what's up, hey? And that's where Snow Kong is coming, and, and hear me out, I have something to say, Snow Kong. First elimination, 9th. Second elimination, went up one by one place, 8th. Third elimination went up by three places. Fifth. So hey, how would you? Why would you choose pick her at number fourteen now? And the reason, like the why I think that she jumped three places, is because in the third elimination, everybody was voting for two people. And I think like my deduction or whatever tells me that if you are a Shin Liu fan, and you vote for Shin Liu. Who is the other one you are gonna vote for? Probably the one that was with her in a group, like for two years. I think that's why she got into top five. And I don't think she herself got as big of a fan fan base as the other girls. Same as with Lingzi. I've seen maybe two no con comments in my YouTube <clears throat> under my YouTube reactions. But hey, don't get mad at me, this is just a fun prediction. Now, Kiki. Kiki was number. This is. She is the most out of the place with her ranking. First placement, number two. You think, wow, she must. She has. She already has a place. Number two. Second place. She must be in. Then, second elimination. <clears throat> What's up with my voice? Second elimination, number seven. She dropped from two to seven. And then you may get scared, but then all the fans pulled up again and she went up on, on the third elimination to place 4 to 4th position and I think that since everybody can vote only for one and I think every, not only every SNH fan but everyone who likes Kiki is gonna vote for her I think she's gonna be number 2 and now you may be thinking, yo what? What's gonna happen with Esther and Shin Liu? Well, we will get to it. <laughs> now, Yan Yu. First elimination number 15. Second el elimination number 3. Huge jump. Third elimination number 3. And I think that her fans ba fan base is big enough to keep her at the third place. I think she's gonna be number 3. And now you may be, yo, what's up with Shin Liu and Esther? Well, we get to it right now. So starting with Esther, Esther, she was for seven weeks straight, she was number one. When you could vote for many peoples, she would still keep number one. Then when the amount of people you could vote for from changed from seven to two, she dropped to number two. Now the amount of people is gonna drop from two to one. And I think that's gonna that's not gonna help her at all. That's why I think she's gonna drop from 
2 to 4. And then obviously, Jin Liu. She's by far the most popular girl of the show. She's gonna be number one, so here it is. My predictions. I have no idea if this is gonna be correct. I don't think this is... Res this represents their talent. If it was, I think Faram would be in top 3. This is just me looking at the facts of how the ranking has been, how big their fanbase is, and the fact that the everybody, every voter will get to choose only one trainee. Hopefully you guys you enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this my prediction. And let me know your prediction when you think about how the voting will end. Not like what you would like. Oh, you can give me both. Give me some predictions. And then when the episode airs, come back to this video and update it. Comment down below under it how many you got correct. I will do the same when I will be recording reaction. I will also be noting how many I got correct from this. See you guys on Sunday. Prepare some tissues. It's gonna be a tough episode. Yeah. Have a good day. Peace.